Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life, guys. I'm Taku, and I just made a pizza oven. And we're making some mushroom clam pizza. And here's how we got the mushrooms and the clams. Check that out first, and come back, and we'll show you how I made this. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Ready to find some? Yeah, let's do it. All right, go ahead, you lead the way. You have the better eyesight. Put on my glasses. Today we're hoping to find some black trumpet mushrooms. Maybe we'll find them. Who knows? Never, we've never found any black trumpets yet, but uh, we want to make this pizza, uh, mushroom pizza. So I think that would be perfect on it. And yeah, you guys are gonna love the pizza oven. It's gonna be so cool. So let's. We gotta find some mushrooms first. And after these mushrooms, we're probably gonna go uh, harvest some. Uh, little steamer clams too. A couple little mushrooms here. What are these? Some white mushrooms. Pretty old. Little black trumpets. You gotta look close to the ground though, because they're really small. Oh. Look at these orange and yellows. The forest floor is covered with colors. Nature's pretty crazy, eh? Have something like that just growing in the wild. You can leave the teeny tiny ones, but let's um, let me clean them before I put them in the bag here. What you got? Hedgies. Oh, there's something in there that's kind of covered. Yeah, just give it a dig around. You I never don't know. want to stick my hands in there. No. <laughs> Gremlin might get you. <laughs> the spider webs. But these guys are cool. They have little teeth. They look like icicles instead of gills. So that's a real diagnostic feature for these little hedgehog mushrooms. That's where they get their name from. Nice. Oh, Got some hedgehogs. I stuck my hand in there for no reason. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a leaf. Yeah. yeah. There we go. There you go. I got one too. You got one? Mm-hmm. got like five. Hedgehog mushrooms. Look at the little tooth. So this is what we're looking for, these guys. Yep. Black trumpets. You think this is a yellow foot? Yeah. It's convex with a small dimple at the center of the cap when young. That's this, expanding to broadly convex with a strongly down curved margin. Wavier and wrinkly or ruffled around the margin. More deeply depressed at the center, uplifted in age. Brown to ochre brown. Edible and good. It is usually abundant, easy to pick, and very clean. Eating wild mushrooms can cause severe illness, even death. So make sure if you're going to eat wild mushrooms, you know what it is 100%. If you don't, don't eat it. Just don't eat it, all right? And don't refer to this YouTube video as a guide of mushroom uh, ID. I'll leave some links to some good mushroom books that I use uh, in the description below. There are actual ones, mushrooms, out here that, that will kill you. And deadly mushrooms are just as common as edible mushrooms. So yeah, really, really be careful. You think I can make it if I jump? Right here? Yeah, you can make it. Think so? Alright, so far I blame you. Whoa, cool. made it. Oh, cool. You wouldn't know places like this exist unless you get out, go do some exploring in your area. I think they're here. You think they're here? Yeah. The black trumpets are? Yeah. Looks promising around here. 
think we might find some. What is this? What is this? Can I see that? Oh, yes. Oh, I found my first one. I found one. I found one. Black trumpet, baby. Black trumpet mushroom. I found one. I did it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, look around this area. There's another one. Just pivot around. Right there, two little yeah. ones. All right, so we just gotta move the duff a little bit and small look guys. Real careful. Oh, there's a nice big one too here. Yeah, that's right. Have a look how camouflage this is. Okay. Look at that. It's right here. Can you see it? It just looks like a piece of bark. Yeah, nice one. Alright, so it looks like garbage on the floor. There's one right next to your camera. Holy smoke. Yep, right here. Yeah, there's two. There's probably another one right here. Alright. You almost stepped on it with your camera. <laughs> he had a tripod almost. Look at this. Ooh, so I found one and then there was maybe six, seven small ones around it. So we gotta find more. They're they're pretty small. They're so camouflaged. So I always wonder how many were just passing by. Oh, check that out right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm on a roll. Oh, I found a cluster. Nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Good job, good job. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, that's a big cluster. <laughs> Alright. I was gonna start saying that I was schooling you, but... <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> she just filled the bag with one cluster she found. Yeah, she's got Hawkeyes. <laughs> Jocelyn just said she found more. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's a little cluster. Nice, got the little brush there. Look at that. Cool, huh? Thanks, man. Thanks for this mushroom knife. Super cool. Oh, oh, there's some more. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There, there, and there. Look at that. Oh my god. The way they look, they don't really look edible or good tasting at all. <laughs> it's smooth and almost, it has a weird like texture. Yeah, baby. Sweet. Like we said, we wanted black trumpets and we actually found, I don't know, that always surprises me when I find what I'm looking for or what I catch, what I'm fishing for, you know. It's always, a, uh, every time, it's just an amazing thrill. <laughs> Alright guys, well successful mushroom hunting. Got a nice uh, bait bag full of black, black trumpet mushrooms. Now we're actually going to go uh, try to hit the low tide and find some steamer clams and put that in our dish, in our pizza. It's pretty crazy how we can get go from the woods to the ocean just like that. Now, uh, Jocelyn's already digging. Hopefully we can find some clams now so we can make some, mm, we can have some clams with our pizza. Clam pizza, have you had that? It's so bomb. It's the best, oh my gosh. Clam mushroom pizza, now that's gonna be next level. <laughs> First two I found. This is an inch and a half diameter here, and as long as, oh, that's a little short, huh? That's legal. They have to be an inch and a half to keep. And yeah, it's been a while since we clammed. Just make sure to fill your hole. Too small. Remember, always fill your hole when you're climbing. Don't make it so easy. 
Oh. All right, Clammy, where are the clams at? They're all too small. All too small? Yeah, I found a bunch of small ones. You can move on. I'm just here to fill holes. We're in a good little clam spot here. Check it out, James is getting a few oh, there. He's got some couple horse neck clams in there too. Very nice, another one there. Over there, you're about to Climb step on G. them. There it is. Climb a G getting them. Good job. Alright, you guys can see how many I'm about to get right here in this hole. Look at this. Ah, there's one right there. Right away, baby. Look at that. Nice keeps. I think there's one right there. There you go. Another keeper. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. That's a good one. Oh, here's one. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're on. A, we're in a good spot. These are good size too. There's another one. Oh, big one. Oh, big one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big little neck. Another one. Yeah. You can't run. You can't run. You ain't got no legs. Yep. Oh, wait. This one's broken. So we have two different types here. This one is a little neck clam. They're just kind of white and nothing really to it. Just looks like a little clam and called a little neck clam. This one is a manila clam, just a slightly different shape. But this one's got like the tribal tattoos. That's how you recognize these ones. Uh, they have different patterns, uh, each of them, and they just look like this tribal tattoo. It's pretty cool. Oh, did she find those? Yes. Oh my gosh, this whole time I thought I was schooling Jocelyn. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm finding way more than her. In my head, but she's the silent assassin of clams here. Oh my god, put that in there. Nice, Clammy Gonzalez is back, baby. Woo! More. Oh, more, more, just keeps going. <laughs> oh, I forgot this one. Oh, big one. Wait, is this real? Let's get one more and we're going home. The size matters. Uh, just as long as it's keeping it. You said one more. One more keeper. All right, who's gonna find it first? James or Jocelyn? James versus Jocelyn. James can move more than me, so my money's on James. He can move more. Okay, can you... oh. oh, there it is. And then we got the winner. We have the winner. Never, never stood a off. chance, did I? <laughs> no, never <laughs> stood a chance, James. Sorry, I, I knew that, but... Uh... All right, all our holes are filled. We'll see you guys back at the house. All right guys, now we're back at the house and I have here 52 bricks and I also have these pavers uh, which are 18 by 24 inches and they're about an inch and a half thick or inch and a quarter. Uh, now we're gonna try to make our own pizza oven. First I'm gonna start out with one of these big slabs right on the, right on the bottom here. Um, I just don't wanna do it on the ground just cause you know, I don't wanna burn the concrete. So I'm just gonna have uh, one of these pavers to start off with and we're just going to build on top of that and we're going to build this awesome brick wood fire pizza oven uh, that we're going to make our pizza on Everything's got to be flat nice and level or else the bricks aren't going to pile up nicely So I'm just going to start stacking these bricks right here Let's see. I think I'm going to go like this I think it might stick out a bit here. It's all right. So basically, we need this first layer to be where the fire is gonna go. All the wood is gonna be here. 
you know, that's going to build the fire. And then we're going to need a platform on top of that. And then another enclosure. So that's going to be our oven. There also needs to be some airflow throughout the whole thing uh, because fire needs airflow, right? Now I'm going to put the surface where the pizza is going to go on. So I pull this one back in the, in the middle underneath the slab and I put this one here. Here. Right there. So now I'm going to bring that brick back in. And now I just need to put this one last slab on top of here. That was pretty easy. And I have uh, leftover bricks here. I have several leftover. I can put them right here just to give it a little extra support on this part. Yeah, look at this. We got the bottom. That's going to be where the fire is going to go, where the wood's going to be burning. And it's going to go through the back with that little opening. And it's going to come out the top right here. Hot air is just going to come out of this section. And this is going to be the oven. That's going to be our oven right there. This is going to be where the pizza goes and all the, where all the heat should be uh, through convection, through the, through the hole there. Um, the only issue that we may encounter is that this getting this uh, piece of piece of rock uh, getting too hot and breaking on us that is our one that's my one fear that it might happen uh, that this might break if it gets too hot fingers crossed let's hope that doesn't happen just in case anything goes wrong Got a bucket of fire, so I can put it out. A bucket of fire. Bucket of, have a bucket of fire. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes wrong, you're just gonna throw more Beep. fire. <laughs> Do it again. Beep. Just in case, I have a bucket of water here, so I can put the fire out at any time. My house is on fire. What do I do? Throw more fire. <laughs> you gotta fight fire with fire. I mean, that's what I heard. <laughs> might have a problem the stone is starting to break from underneath well let's see what happens uh, we'll just keep it lit we'll just let it go I'm gonna make the pizza stuff right now all the toppings and such and we'll go from there I have some marinara sauce in here I'm just boiling it down thickening it in a little bit and then I have some clam juice uh, from the clams that I boiled so I just went ahead and boiled up the clams. So now they're all, they're all open. That's all the clams there. Shout out to my buddy James from all the way from Australia. 50-50 knives. Freaking knife master. Look at this. This is a thing of beauty. Black on black with some gold flakes. My marinara sauce is boiling. So I'm going to add some of this clam juice. It's just the water that I boil the clams in. So I'll just incorporate that into the sauce. And that should make it so good. All right, put that off to the side. All right, got some pizza dough here. I'm just gonna form it into a shape of a pizza. There you go. We'll just leave that on there for now. Get everything else ready. Let's get my mushrooms ready. With these black trumpets, we gotta kinda, we have to just open them up. Make sure there's no twigs in there or some, I don't know, worms or something. Uh, if it's good, I'll just put it off this side. Yeah, they look pretty good.
Now for the clams. Oh no, I lost one. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take them all out of the shell first. These clams, I don't know why, they have so much flavor. They have like a nice saltiness, but very strong, nice, really delicious flavor. For pizza toppings, I think mushrooms are definitely my go-to, my favorite. But the clams on there are so good too. Clam pizza, mm. put them together, I'm gonna have the best pizza. You know what, I'm gonna leave it chunky like that. I was gonna chop them up a little, but I think it's fine. Get a nice medium sized pizza. All right, so I have this marinara sauce with the clam juice that I put in there. This has a really good flavor too. I always say less is more, but Jocelyn loves the saucy. <laughs> <laughs> loves his saucy, but I, I think we can, a little medium like that. A ton of garlic on here. Got these mozzarella balls. Toss those on there. All right, we gotta get the clams on. And of course our mushrooms. Wild mushroom and wild clam pizza. What could be better than that? On a wood fire oven. <laughs> oh yeah, little onion. I like onions on my pizza. I think we're ready. Oh, it's hot in there. Ooh, oh my goodness, there's a crack. There's a crack right there. Oh my gosh, should I risk it? Yeah, I guess you can stay close and you're ready to catch. <laughs> Wait. Woo! Let's do this. All right, it should cook pretty fast. It's really hot in there. I don't have a thermometer or anything, but I can feel it. This is so badass, look at that. Look at all that fire. Oh my goodness. All right, let me just give it a little turn. So all the heat is on the bottom, but I have a hole in the back of the oven that comes through the top. So all the hot air goes up there and comes out here, it's so hot here. So that cooks the top and also the stone being really hot on the bottom will cook the bottom. Oh my God, it's looking so perfect on the bottom. Look at this. Oh, that's perfection. I think it's done. Woo. All right, and do you have anything to make this pizza better? Some mizune. Some mizune? Jocelyn has this beautiful mizune here that we can top off the pizza with. It's similar to arugula. There we go, just finished the pizza off. I'm right, just gonna give this a cut. Ah, good old Lagunitas today. Bumbundo. Tropical hazy sour ale. Passion mm. fruit guava and coriander. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm. This one's very light. Let's dig in. Mm. I'll get this nice fluffy crust. Cheers. <laughs> oh, beautiful pizza. Mm. Oh, it's so oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god, it has so much flavor. Mm-hmm. And the cook on this pizza? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much perfect. All oh, the clams are delicious. Mm -hmm. The mushroom. Hold on, I don't think I got a mushroom on that first bite. Wow. There's so much flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow, the clams. I'm telling you, the clams are packed. It's nice, nice saltiness, briny. I just want to eat this by itself. We'll try that. Yeah, these black trumpets are really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. An amazing texture. It has a nice... Mm-hmm. Nice, you know... Bounce? <laughs> ba <laughs> nice bounce to the mushroom, <laughs> but even though it's like really thin, <laughs> it's... Mm-hmm. Mm And then wood fire pizzas, they make all the difference. Mm -hmm. I like that you left the clam chunky. Mm. Instead of like finely sliced, mm -hmm. how we've usually had it. Mm -hmm. I've never made clam pizza, but when I've had clam pizza, it's always mm -hmm. diced up, chopped up clams. But no, chunky is the way to go. And that took like maybe five minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. right? It was quick. It was mm -hmm. hot in there. The dough is nice and airy, fluffy crunchy on the on the crust on the bottom this is one for the books mm-hmm the oven's still holding up look at that we might throw another pizza in there mm -hmm. brick mm. pizza oven so cool Ooh. oh my god look at the bottom of this <laughs> that's so a perfect steep. that's a perfect oh and if you think that's burnt no nah, man pizza's supposed to look like that I like the um black trumpet more than the hedges oh yeah black trumpet is way better than hedgehog mm -hmm. yeah hedgehogs yeah they're kind of like uh it's like a little better than the oyster mushrooms but uh halfway good to um chanterelles mm -hmm. oyster chanterelle mix and that's what i think of hedgehogs right in between that but these black, black trumpet mushrooms are mm -hmm. my goodness they're so good those little weird looking mushrooms. Uh, this is one I've been wanting to do for a long time. Glad I finally got to do it. Who doesn't love a good pizza? Mm -hmm. Fresh clams make all the difference. Mmm. Yeah. Because all the clam pizzas we've had, you can't taste the clams too much. Mm hmm. Oh, the pizza, you're so delicious. Got a little crust right there. <laughs> There's one to another successful catch and cook. Well, thank you guys for watching another episode. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. We forgot our Patreons. All right. We've actually had, the, had a Patreon page for... Uh, probably a year and a half. I don't talk about it ever. I just talked about it like one time when I created it But thank you for those of you that support us on there. I uh, really appreciate it that directly, you know goes to us So it's really cool. Um, and we have a little Patreon of the month. We figured we should do that, you know to just to just to say thank you a little more go ahead So the patrons of this month are David Bell and Anthony Kamaya <laughs> David and Anthony Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Let me know what else you guys think I should cook in the brick wood fire pizza oven. Leave the comments below.